Hey DIYers, I'm George here with Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be adding a wireless sensor to an Interlogic Simon XTI panel. So that's going to be this system right over here. And we're actually going to be working with the TXE721. This is a wireless pet immune motion detector. Now, just to start off, you usually want to use motions in an area where a door or window sensor won't necessarily be... Uh, quite logical to use in, right? So like if you have like an open area, like a living room, um, this would be a really good place to put it in. You can also use these as a backup to any windows. So if you have a window and you're worried about um, someone smashing it instead of actually just opening, which would set off the window sensor, you can actually add this to protect the window as well. So once they step through, the motion will pick up on it. Now, this motion sensor here, it is a pet immune motion sensor. So it actually uh, does up to 40 pound pets. Yeah. So 40 pounds would actually be on the normal sensitivity. And then if you actually switch it to high sensitivity, it drops that pounds down to 20. So make sure you pick carefully what setting you do choose. And uh, I'll show you after I program it in how we can switch the sensitivity on this motion detector. So to start off, I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, start by learning it, learning it into the Simon XTI panel. So first thing you're gonna do is the Simon screen is at the home screen. It'll say press to arm, and then in the bottom right, you'll see a little gear icon. You're gonna go ahead and hit the gear. Now this touch screen, it's not just a simple touch, right? You actually have to push in. Now it takes us to our status and settings. We're gonna go ahead and hit the down arrow key all the way to the last page. That's going to bring us down to system test and programming. We need to go into programming to program this in. So we're going to hit program. It's going to ask you for the access code. Now the access code for most, or actually for the Simon panels, so whether it's the XTI or FTI5 or the Simon XT, the installer code is 4321. So, sorry, it backed out because I took too long. I'm going to go ahead and go back, gear icon, hit the down arrow key all the way down, hit programming, enter in the installer code, 4, 3, 2, 1, hit OK, and now I'm in system programming. Now keep in mind, that installer code I used is the default one. You or your monitoring company may have changed it at one point, so you want to make sure that you're using the correct installer code. All right? Now once we're in system programming, you, we're going to make our way over to sensors. Once you're in sensors, you do learn sensor. This is going to put the system into a learning mode. Now, any sensor that you're learning into a Simon XT, XTI panel or any Simon panel, the way to trip the sensor, which is what it's saying, is to just set off the tamper. So if you look at the top of my motion right here, there's a little button. Once I take the back plate away, so I push down the button, I pull the back plate away, it'll set off the tamper, and it'll learn it in to the trip sensor. Mm -mm, struggling here. There we go. It tripped the, it tripped the uh, tamper, and it automatically, as you can see, brings up the, uh, the sensor, right? So it learned into sensor number one. That's the zone number. The sensor group, this is going to be the... Uh, the response type, right? So whether it's going to be a perimeter, an entry exit, an interior follower, interior follower with delay. Now, you can actually edit either one of these. So if you wanted to switch the zone number, you could just hit edit on that. You can switch the zone number. I'm going to leave it as one because it's my only zone in the panel. The sensor group, I don't want it set to 10. I want either for motions, you want to use 17 or 19. 17 means it's an interior without delay or interior follower, right? That means basically when somebody walks past this motion while the system is armed, the alarm will go off immediately, right? So that's 17 and you can actually scroll down or enter in the number. I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to go up to 17. The zone 19, or I'm sorry, Sensor group 19, that one is interior with delay. That means if somebody walks by this while the system is armed, the system will start counting down for the entry delay. So it's going to give you time to go in and disarm the system. 
So you may want to use that if, let's say, this sensor is facing the front door and you use the front door to enter the house. You may want to set that motion to an interior with delay. That's sensor group 19. And um, that way, once you open the front door, the alarm doesn't go off right away. You actually have time to walk by the front door, get to your system, and disarm it. Um, sensor group 17, again, that's the one without delay. That could be used for something in the living room or in the garage. So if you know while the system is armed away, you don't enter the house through the living room or the garage and anyone walks by it, it sets off the alarm immediately. Yeah. So I'm going to leave mine at 17. I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. Sensor name. You can actually change this. Yeah. It, it'll give you a couple of options. If you want to change it, you hit edit again. And it actually gives you a library of all the possible words available. So what you're going to do is use down and up arrow keys to scroll through. I'm actually going to set mine to living room. So as you can see, all I have to do is keep hitting the down arrow key. It's in alphabetical order. So for me, I'll put living room. It changes it in the top left. You can confirm. Hit save. And then just so that I know it's a motion, I'll make it even clear. I'll put number two. And I have to scroll all the way down to my M's for motion. So you see there's a whole library. You can just keep scrolling down. And I see my motion. I'm just going to leave it as motion. I don't want to set it as motion detector. Um, hit save. And now you'll see item one, living room. Item two, motion. So once you're done there, you can hit close. And then hit save. It'll say please wait processing request it learns that zone in and then it's ready for you to learn in your next zone whether it's motion smoke door sensor window sensor whatever you want you just trip the tamper and that's it i'm done learning sensors in this is my only motion i'm going to learn in for today i'm going to hit close in the top right again hit close and hit close one more time and you're back out to the main screen you now have a motion sensor learned into the panel now, um, as you can see, the motion is actually just letting me know that it was faulted. Yeah, uh, one thing I want you guys to keep in mind with this motion is that it does have a three second uh, timer or timeout delay, right? Or I'm sorry, three minute timeout delay. So what that means is a lot of people usually think that they set their motion off once and it stops working because they try to do it immediately after. What you guys fail to realize is that these motions actually have a three minute timeout. So whenever this motion detector, while it's armed, if it's tripped, it actually goes into a sleep mode for three minutes so that it, it can actually conserve battery. Yeah. Um, so if you guys are ever testing out the motion, and you guys set off an alarm, and then within seconds you try to do it again, and you're wondering why it's not working. It's because it is doing the three minute timeout delay. Yeah, so you want to allow it, give it the three minutes, and then try it again. Uh, one other cool thing about this motion is that every 64 minutes, it actually sends a supervisory signal back to the panel. What that means is it ba it's basically checking in, it's letting the system know, hey, uh, I'm still here, my battery is still good, and I'm still within range. Nobody has tampered with me. Um, it also lets you know whenever there's a low battery. So usually with sensors, they have a low battery signal. So they actually send you up to 30 days in advance, usually, that there's a low battery. That gives you a whole month to get a new battery for it. Now, as you can see, this motion just uses a basic, uh, I believe it's just, this one says it's a CR. 1735 lithium battery so if you just go purchase one of those replace it you can do that now that i have the cover actually turned off you'll see here this is going to be my sensitivity setting right now it's set to standard so that means that the little black jumper is off to the right the left pin is free that means that's standard sensitivity if i want to set it to high sensitivity i pull the jumper off the little black piece and then i place it on the left two. So the left two is high sensitivity. And then 
the right to is the uh, standard sensitivity. Now remember, this is what I was telling you about the pet, uh, about the pounds, right? So if it's standard, it does 40 pounds. If I place it on the other end, so high sensitivity, it only does 20 pound pets. So you want to keep in mind when you're placing this. One other common mistake here you may see is this is actually the upright position. Make sure you do not place it upside down. When you're mounting it, you do want to make sure it's mounted at about seven and a half feet up from the ground. Um, you want to make sure it's not facing any air ducts or any air vents as that could cause false alarms. And when you're mounting it, this is actually the part that goes flat. So if I'm placing it on the wall, this part goes flat and it goes there. Yeah, do not place this part on because then it'll be tilted up. So flat down. And uh, that's pretty much it for this motion. If you guys do have any questions whatsoever regarding this, you can email us at support at alarmgear.com. If you guys uh, like this video, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and hit the little bell icon to enable notifications. That way you guys are notified whenever we upload new content, which is daily. Um, and uh, yeah, that was just a quick video on how to learn in a wireless motion sensor to a Simon XTI panel. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.